This is what happens when your save data is messed up. Um, you're back, just putting the goddess sword in. So let's just, oh my god, already. 12 seconds in, I make a picture. Anyway, my save data got messed up. But it's okay that my save data got messed up because I'm not far behind from where I was at the end. I had to do the whole beginning part over again. So, there you go. And I have a sword. It's Skyward. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, honestly, if the game's called Skyward Sword, part of it, at least some minuscule part of it, should be about what you saw in Skyward. So let's go. Roll that. Should I have rupees back? No. No rupees. Let's just do this. We just have to get out of here, get our shield, and then head back out. Oh yeah, Pledge gives me something too. This is probably going to release to the public at 4.45, 4.30, or 5 o'clock is when this is going to go out to the public. Come here, man. Let's just go. This is a quicker way to get to the bazaar. Yeah, my save data was very messed up. She told me to get a shield and potions at the bazaar, but I actually don't need potions. I don't have enough money to get- I'll get some potions. Potion, let's go. Got a shield, got a hot potion. Well, yeah, and I found out you don't have to hold down uh every time you want the shield. You just have to press it. Oh, wait, I'm on. Watch. You don't have to hold down. You don't have to hold down uh every time you want your shield. You just have to press uh. You have to hold down uh when you want to switch things, but not when you just want to press it. So. You have to find that big beacon of light, which is right down here. There's my beacon of light. Yeah, my save data was really messed up. Is this even running? Yes, this is running. Yeah, so we're probably gonna have like a five minute delay of this video. But it's okay. It's okay.
know I see it. Why is it always mine or so close to skip the cutscene? Nobody knows. It doesn't let me say. That's a big problem. But it doesn't let me say. What you're supposed to do is cut these eyes. Like the way their mouths open. Like watch, I have to cut I have to cut him like this. Oh come on, this oh I'm gonna die. Cut him. And cut him the other way. Oh, I already got a jelly blob in this speed one. Not a speed one, a walkthrough. So now, basically, what I do. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be in here, please. I want to. I'm going to be doing this for the next, like, half hour, actually. If you want to watch down that chair. And just crawl. Don't walk through it. It's a walk, but not that kind of walk through. Just sit there and walk. Now I'm going to have to speed run this even faster because there's an asher. Here we get it. We get it. Oh. Oh yeah, you just have to slide with Tortoise. Did I do this on camera in the last time? I don't know, but there we go. Now we have a... something. Oh yeah, now we have these bursts of air. And also that unlocks the Sheikah Tower. Zelda is now something that we can slam for the Dow's and Um, this is gonna be easy. This is gonna be a quick video. Smooth sailing. Smooth sail hopping. Let's just... Let's just get back up to this. at the moment, it gleams orange. Right, Asher? Why does it, why does that happen so much? Oh! You should go check out his channel. He's probably making a Monster Hunter Stories video. Starting a series. to press A to make him peek in now. We get to take the treasure chest, the treasure chest that's inside this room. Way to be sure it's rubies if it's not that weird that I always get rubies from every little stupid thing. Just check. Oh, that's what I got from a vitalizing potion. Uh, yeah, it's nothing special. So let's just go out this way. Go to the. I, I, I'm gonna regret that. I, I'm saying it's nothing special. 
And then I bet you along the line there's going to be so many enemies coming up across me that I'm going to need it. And then when I use it, I'm going to be like, yeah, nothing special. It just saves me from going back a lot. Because right now, it's, I'm very scared because if I die, oh look, it's the Gorko guy. He's feeling! Where did this take me? Please take me to Impa's place. Oh, thank God. I thought it was about. Okay, so now we know that. I was very scared that I thought I was going back to. Yep, he's a gone, just like to I'll let you fly around, I guess, after I'm done. So let's just wait. Which way do I? This way. This way. Okay. Oh, Fi's asking me to buy the loft wing amiibo. I remember that. When Fi plugs the amiibo in the game, it's like, use the amiibo if you want to travel to the sky at will. I mean, yeah, that would be nice. I'm probably going to get the amiibo when you can get it places. But let's go. Astro, please don't tell me that again. Master, you have entered far what I know. Where am I right now? Hmm? The Gerudo Desert? Is he getting down? Is it like a is it like an invisible dog that chases him? Hey, stop scaring that poor Korok rip off! Don't talk to me that way. That's unfair. Oh, there we go. That's unfair. And then we can. This dumb Kiki Wee. Isn't it, him? Isn't it called a Kick Wee? Yeah, it's called a Kiki. Now you just have to chase him. He's like, ha ha, it's a quicksand pit. Can't get me. Yeah, you're right. Except I can hold down the dash button. The dash button is literally the way to go. Asher, at the very end of the video, you can wave your hand on the camera. Okay. If I had a capture card, this would be zero problem for me if I had a capture card that worked. I can literally show you a capture card at the end of the video. After Asher says hi, say 
to this spot. Oh my god, we're still not even an hour in. Hey. hey! There we go, you got your heart. Don't you die. He's gonna keep hiding behind the mushrooms. Which mushroom is he hiding behind? It's this one. Do you know why he's registering as, as Zelda on my dowsing thing? Mm -hmm. We will see in a few minutes. <laughs> Whoever he is, it will tell you because he's right. Watch, if I go to Zelda and then I go to him, he's literally registering as being Princess Zelda. He's hiding behind this tree. Behind that tree. There he is. Now you can talk to him. So basically, what he says is he saw Zelda. She escaped through the Kiki Elder. Now listen, trust me here, I know just how to do this. Just watch and do what I do. There we go, now we got an Amber Relic. Okay, so what we want to do is, first, you can put a, one of those little beacon weird blah, blah, right here. Now, you want to try to find that beacon. So what you're going to want to do is, obviously head for the Kikui Aldo, who is right here. So... Yeah, I think you can do that. Real quick. So, you want to know how to get to the key, the key, the key, cool, we, elder? Well, I will tell you that I actually forgot. But, I will figure, yes, I know. He is right up here. How I'm about to get to his godly camouflage. I do not know. Where do you think he is? Maybe the big fat bum is right over here. What we're going to do is... What we're going to do is... Something that I seem to not remember! Oh, we clearly just have to go over this side, hopefully. Uh, this, this is a very confusing board. So, did you just shoot me with a stone? Anyway, the secret of fighting these guys is to just spawn spots. Okay, where is this key 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 we elder? Right here, you say? Right there. So big yeah, he's right there. So basically we just have to kill a guy. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Another one? Oh, here we go! So now what you want to do is chop down these. Run through them whenever you finally can. Ignore that weird temple thing over there. And just let yourself get hit, I guess, in the head of the stone. Is it me live? You can kill me. Don't hurt me. Here 
There we go. Yes, we gave you a lot. So now what we're going to do is cut that. And then just jump over. Wake up the Kiki Kiwi Elder. He'll, he'll just tell you to find three key kiwis. So now what you want to do is douse for the key kiwis. Basically, douse is, is how you do the, um, it's, it's when you press the, the up on the D-pad, and then you hold it down while using the R stick to find which one to douse. And now, I'm dousing the key, key kiwi that's way over to this direction, which was what I was talking about. So we're going to want to take off this banner and place down this banner. So basically it's like a hard to get to spot, you know? All the people are trying to get to it right there. And I'll teach you how to get there. It's easy. You just have to go around this area. See where Machi is? Now, hmm. I should quickly give you a little bit of help. To find another Kiki Kiwi first, you can go over here, and then go over here, and then go over here, and then go over here. You following along? I know you want to get along to the same. Go over here, and you're confused. Now I'm up here, and what you want to do is drop down here, which is where you can crawl across this area and find a poor Kiki Kiwi. His name is Ulu. So now we have Machi Ulu, and I think we have to find two more, or one more, something of that sort. So let's go back down and head for the place where Ulu is waiting for us. So we want to cross this area. No, we can just do this. Oh, I can see where the thing is. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I don't need dead right now. I don't need dead right now. Neither of them need me up. Oh, you know what? This would be the perfect time to use. Yay! That was, I'm, I'm mad right now. Because, yep, I predicted that this would happen. I actually needed to use that stupid thing. Yeah. 
So anyway, what you want to do is see these vines that are strategically placed over here. Well, you want to climb or oh, run up this thing. If you're standing on a bottle, you feel fully. And jump up. Leap across these two. Go up. And then. Time is moving like a hot. Hey, hey. Hey, why is he on your bike? Go to home. Why is he on your bike? Oh, it's just Sky Children of the Light. It's free. Anyway. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. You have to chop down all the grass. Because he bought this. This is the stupidest thing. I know it's coding. And you can only go so far with the coding. You can't say when there's a certain amount of... Well, you can. It's just harder to say that when there's a certain amount of grass, then he'll do... But you want to do Okay, you can talk now. Why don't you want to come out? Oh, because there's one more piece of grass. Look, and then he'll talk. Basically, that's it. You just find the kiki kiwi. So now what you want to do is head over here to this area, which is where you want to be. Now, you have to douse for the last few. And it's too, it's really far over there. That's all the information. No, I see. What? I, I see. You remember so Puka has the Bolina. Uh, he get that too. He's talking about the soft drink and icy. Which is making me wonder where he has seen an icy. Because from what I can see, there are no ICs in the area, Asher. So now, before we go get our last kiki kiwi and end the video, we are going to run over here, which is where we can save in case we die. So basically, now what you want to do is head all the way up here. Kiki, isn't it a kiki? Well, 
Oh, you know what? Who cares? I've been calling them Kiki Wees the whole time. They're they're Kiki Wees. So now what we're gonna do is one up to this, and bam! Now you have the last Kiki or whatever. They're called Kiki I suppose, but I don't like that name. It's really hard to say. Ouch! That was all uh, effective. Why? Why does Fi scare? Video it. Why does Fi scare this man so much? Oh no! Oh no! The rope of doom. Let's just try the rope of doom. Right? Oh yes, first try on the rope of doom. Is that seriously what I thought the key? The kikwi was? It's up here. It's not there. So anyway, now what you want to do once you're done with all that is head back toward the kikwi elder, I guess. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Head back toward the elder. And once you finally reach the elder's platform up there, so let's just take let's just take the route we normally take. Which is jumping down here, coming up, going around on top of the log, up the wall, replenishing the stamina, around over. This is actually the only way to visit the outer, I think. You have to take this. You've done a push up. And now, once you. I'm building it again. So you found. So she's going to the Skyview Temple. Which. Scares me. And. Not that temple. It's behind the temple. Basically. Why do I say basically so much in walkthroughs? Didn't I say this in. My shining part two. It was either shining one or shining two. I said, I said, I said, I say basically two. Well, there we go. Now we have the slingshot finally. Oh yeah. And again, it turns out you don't have to hold down Zia and move it. You just have to press Zia. I'm just gonna tell you to shoot down that vine. Why is his laugh so easy? I thought he was a good guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, and one little tidbit. Kind of a tidbit. That you need to know when you're playing Skyward Tour. Is you just want to go around here. Climb up this thing. And now you're on this log. You should run over here. And go along this tightrope because you guessed it. There's a piece of heart, which oh yeah, that's a good question. Why don't they have piece of hearts in Breath of the Wild? Another thing that Breath of the Wild completely threw out the window: piece of heart. So now we have the piece of heart, the slingshot. We just gotta go over the temple that Zelda also wants to be in. Oh look. We have one of those. Wait, can we reach that one? Well, anyway, those goddess cubes, they're called goddess cubes. And if you hit them with a skyward smash, or whatever that is called, you get to do something. Oh yeah, it, it awakens them, but it doesn't tell you what it actually does. It doesn't do anything to you in the game. There's my piece of heart. There it is, piece of heart. So now we're just gonna go to this bird statue and end it because the deep woods and the sky view temple is for episode three. Same. Okay, me say I'm a bird? Maybe. I'm gonna say. Maybe you can fly on my bird. No, I'm gonna say. Here we go. I'll just go and go play. We gotta run for the snorkels.